Hello everyone, it's Anna here and this is my uh, uh, next process video. Uh, today I am going to scrap this picture. It was taken in Łowicz in the Open, open Air Museum. Uh, it is a um, rustic cabin and uh, I would like to talk about uh, Polish folk for a second because my layout was inspired by the Polish folk. Um, as you can see, uh, the color of the cabin is very, very blue. It's a cobalt blue and it's not a rare thing. Uh, many houses were painted this way. Uh, it is a house from about 100 years ago. Uh, so the people uh, lived in them in the Polish uh, countryside. Um, and they were creating um, something like that. It is called in Polish Wycinanka. It can be translated to English as a national folk art paper cut out form. I don't know, I just checked uh, online about this. This is my notes uh, in English about this post because I'm not sure how to uh, call these things in English. Those uh, were cut from the paper and layered together. As you can see, this was the base and the second color, third and fourth, and all the motifs uh, were uh, floral, floral uh, countryside living, some uh, animals, um, mostly things that you can uh, find in the on the countryside. And here is the stencil. Uh, it's black and white and you can create your own cutouts. Uh, with this one. Uh, this one is uh, created in the Łowicz region, region uh, because it's the most famous place in Poland where the cutout forms were created. Uh, it, peasants uh, in the countryside started to creating this in the late 19th century First, they were using these uh, shears for sheep shearing. They were really huge and I am amazed how precise were these cutouts with the scissors like that. And um, they were created to embellish the houses. Uh, first, they were glued uh, to the uh, walls and uh, later they used a white sheet of paper as a background for the cutout. People also embellish uh, their doors and window shutters, I don't know how to call it in English, uh, with this kind of motifs. They were usual, usually cut uh, in a symmetrical way, so the paper were folded in one or two times and then they was, they was, it was precisely cut out. Precisely, I don't know. I didn't fussy cut it. Okay, my English isn't perfect. I was inspired by the patterns, so I decided that I will create a background for my layout um, with this picture, and I sketched some uh, flowers. Uh, now you can't see it because uh, it's a pencil, and the lines are not um, very dark because I will have to remove them later but it's there, you will see it. Uh, I will not make a paper cut because I am not uh, good in, in fussy cutting, uh, but I will paint them with my watercolors. This is um, my favorite way of creating layouts lately. Uh, and I used that stencil, I sketched the flowers here, uh, but then I also added a few other flowers here and there. I am going to paint my flowers 